We're joined today by Dr. Kathy Kirkland, the section chair of the occupational health section of APHA. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. We're glad to have you. So what exactly is an APHA section and how does that actually uh, integrate in, in the meeting? Well, the occupational health and safety section is a um, group of very disparate individuals, but we have a very common interest in occupational health and safety. Mm -hmm. So it allows us to be public health, it allows a diverse group that are physicians, nurses, industrial hygienists, union activists, community activists, people like me who are administrative types, mm -hmm. um, to all come together for a common cause. Mm -hmm and under an umbrella organization that gives us uh, a lot of credibility as well. Sure, sure. So, so this section is 100 years old. Right. What, what does that mean to the meeting, that it's 100 years old? It means, uh, it means it's been around a while, but what else? Well, we've been around a while, but oh, we've yeah. changed with the times. I mean, when we started in 1914, we were called the Industrial Hygiene Section. <laughs> okay. Um, it was very male-dominated, mm -hmm. um, and it was very conservative. And... In fact, we, I learned yesterday that uh, between before between 1914 and World War II, there were only two women who were chairs of the um, section. Wow! And one of them was Alice Hamilton, who was also the first uh, academic professor, female academic professor at Harvard. Mm -hmm. So she broke a lot of barriers. A lot of barriers. A lot of barriers. Right. Um, and since that time, we have been, you know, very diversified in, you know, women people of color, et cetera. Um, what, what are some of the other things that surprised you about the section you look back in the past? Um, just the fact that we've grown and evolved and changed with the times and become much more activist. Um, we are one of the sections that puts forth a lot of policy statements. Um, unfortunately, there's some things, I mentioned it yesterday at the opening session, things that we, we have been working on since 1914 that haven't changed. Um, we were working on a silica standard back then to lower silica exposures in workers. That was one of Alice Hamilton's big fights, and, and that, we're still fighting it. Uh, mm -hmm. um, lead ha was an issue that, you know, that's been addressed since Ramazzini, I mean, mm. back in the early sure. 1400s. Sure. And, you know, today the, the CDC level for children, the target is under five. Mm -hmm. The 2020 for adults is under mm. 10. Workers don't get removed until they've hit 50. That's right. That is it's it's right. a major issue. It, it is. And in, in older we can't cities, get it changed. In older cities around the country, I mean, we fight this every day. I mean, right. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. So, you know, we're at the 100th anniversary. When people, when we're at the 200th anniversary, what will people look back and say this 100th anniversary did for the, for the next 100 years? That we put a face on it, you know, that we had the opportunity to put a face on occupational health and safety at the opening session that we were able to get Boris Lushniak, who's a member of our section, who's the acting Surgeon General, brought it up, that we put a face on occupational health and safety, that we've got our posters, we've got our presence known, um, we're having a, a plenary session about the history, and we're going to make it, you know, more of a focus for everybody to understand that occupational health and safety, workforce safety, is very definitely a part of public health. Well, that sounds like you wrapped it up great. Thank you very much for being here. You're welcome. All Thank right. You. Have a great conference.